This is New Orleans, the Crescent City, Paris of America. It squats in the middle of the Mississippi mud with the levees of the 19th century myth on one side, the dikes of modern industrialism on the other, and the old French Quarter, bright-eyed and exciting, ornamenting the city's beginning. Tourists still gasp at its enchanting courtyards and horse-drawn carriages like those Andrew Jackson and Jean Lafitte, the pirate, might have used for transportation. St. Louis Cathedral, erected in 1724, sits directly across from Jackson Square. The Cabildo, built in 1795. On December 20th, 1803, the Louisiana Purchase was executed here. The French Market Coffee Shop is an offspring of the old French market, which started back in the year 1720. But once each year, thousands of tourists pour into New Orleans by whatever means available to them to witness or take part in Mardi Gras. But if you check history deep enough, you will find it was born out of a religious cause. But all that has been forgotten now because Mardi Gras is a time of reckless abandonment, of merriment, Bucare, the Crescent City, sleepy by day, psychedelic by night. Some call New Orleans the birthplace of the blues, being nurtured on a street they call bourbon, like one of the many drinks that can be had there if your pocket is filled with the right kind of coin. But Bourbon Street never really comes alive until after dark. Bourbon Street is also known as the birthplace of the exotic, better known to the tourist trade as a stripper where hundreds of these girls perform their trade to the delight of the paying customers in dozens of the city's well-known nightclubs. But our story doesn't begin on Bourbon Street. Instead, it begins in the swamps. <laughs> <laughs> 